What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the Corbino. Today, I'm doing a tier ranking of every fast food restaurant that's on the market. And yeah, today, uh, there's a few on here that I really have never had, and we're just going from F to the best. So I hope that you guys would stick around for the entire thing. Starting off here, we have A&W, and I've never had A&W. I think it's probably like K&W, which I don't, I think that's one of the um, like buffet places that we had like recently, but I have never had A&W. And for the next one, we have Arby's. I have had Arby's fries, that's it. And judging off of the Arby's fries, I'll just give it a C tier because I, I really don't know what Arby's is. It's like roast beef and other stuff. So I really would not like be there like rushing to be, hey, I want some Arby's, like something like that. I really do not care for Arby's. This next one that, um, for the next one on the list is called Baja Fresh. I've never had Baja Fresh and I just do not know what this is. It's some kind of like Mexican grill. I think it's kind of like Chipotle or Moe's, but I have never had Baja Fresh once in my life. I don't think I ever will. No idea what Blimpy is. I do not even know what this is. It, I think it says America's Sub Shop. There's a lot better sub shops, I'm pretty sure, like Jersey Mike's, that place is fire, but I really don't know. For Bojangles, I'm gonna give it a B tier because Bojangles is like right next to where we live, like in North Carolina but it's hit or miss with Bojangles. Sometimes their fries are not like seasoned enough and like they're not crunchy. And I don't know, they usually have their flaws, but other than that, when you get a good meal, you get a good meal. So um, we're, Bojangles is getting a good review for this one. For Boston Market, I've never had Boston Market. There's gonna be a lot in here for never had because I have never had a lot of these. For this next one, Burger King, I don't know if I'm deciding to put it in D tier or F tier, but I don't know, I'll be a little nice and put it in D tier just because the fries are somewhat good. But like, even other than that, they're just too plain. And Burger King is just the lowest point that you can go for a burger. So if you want to go to like, get a burger, I recommend going to like Five Guys or somewhere like that. Even McDonald's has better burgers, to be honest. Canes, I've never had Canes before. Hardee's, mmm. <sighs> That's a real hard one. I think I'm going to give it like, a C tier above. Well, I'm probably gonna move Arby's down to D because I've like I've never really had anything. So like yeah, C tier for Hardee's. I their service is just not that great. And like other than that, the food is all right. But like there's way better like chicken tenders and burgers out there on the market. And like it's forgettable food. Like you see Hardee's in the middle of nowhere, and you're like, okay, it's either this or McDonald's. But like you just don't really go out wanting Hardee's. You like you feel me? For this next one, Checkers, I've heard good things about it, but I've never had it, so I'm not going to put my review on that. Okay, for Chipotle, S tier, instantly. Chipotle is awesome. I went there, like, a couple times recently, just had it for, like, the first time. It was absolutely banging food. Like, it's the freshest ingredients. Their drinks are, like, amazing. And I usually get, like, the three tacos or, like, the bowl, and those are, like, pretty good, too. But, like, Everything in Chipotle is just like ridiculously good. Like you cannot go wrong with Chipotle. I'm sorry, but go there now. You need some food there. Church's Chicken, I have never had that. I don't think I've seen one ever in my life. Cookout, I'm gonna give a bottom B tier. Their burgers are pretty good and their fries are just like simple generic fries. But like the thing that's saving them is the um, actual burgers. And I really like the approach that they take with their burgers um, because we got one recently where I live. Um, and yeah, other than that, I think it's like really fast food, greasy food. But at the same time, if you want a good burger for like a low price, go to Cookout. Culver's, um, I don't know. Their crinkle cut fries are really good, surprisingly. But like, I don't know. They've been burning my burgers recently when I have had Culver's, so I haven't had it in a while. So I'm gonna give it like a in-between CT, no. Nah. I'll give it a top of C tier just because of like their fries. Their fries are like pretty daggone good. They're crinkle cut fries just like Zaxby's, but Zaxby's are better because they add seasoning. But if this is on the tier list, I'll get to that later. Del Taco, I have never had that. I have never had Denny's in my life. I know it's like a breakfast food, but like, I don't know. Domino's is a weird one because that's not classified as fast food, but like it's pizza but I'm gonna give it like an S tier right behind Chipotle. That, 
Like Domino's, if you get carry out like right after they make it, it's like hot, crispy and everything. It's still, like some of the best pizza that you can get for like delivery. And I know that like there's a lot of other better places out there, but Domino's is like by far one of my favorite ones above like any of the other ones like Little Caesars, Pizza Hut and all that. So yeah, if you want to get some good pizza, go to Domino's. Dairy Queen, I've really only been there for like the Frosties or like the um, McFlurries or whatever they have. But I've heard that their food is like not really that good. So I'm going to give it a D tier. But like I've had their food maybe a couple times. It's very forgettable. Nothing um, like a memorable experience. But I don't think that you'd really want to go to Dairy Queen for like a good meal. Maybe for like one of their flurries or whatever. Polo Loco, I have never had that. I'm pretty sure that's Mexican. Firehouse Subs, I've heard good things about it. But I've never had it. So I can't really put my um, ideal take on that. Five Guys is instantly getting S tier. Like, I think it's better than Domino's at this point. Nothing beats Chipotle though. But like, Five Guys, best burger that you can get for fast food instantly. They load their fries with like, up to the brim of the basket. Like, you order some fries, like a large fry, you get like, two times that. Because like, they, they give you a lot of fries. But like, the burger, if you're not getting messy with that burger, it's not good. Like, the burger is so ridiculously good that you wouldn't even understand what is happening with it. It's so, it's so good. IHOP, I have never had that before. I know that people have had it, but I have not had it. In-N-Out Burger, never had it before. Jack in the Box, never had it before. Jersey Mike Subs is getting a back of the S tier. That like best sub ever. Like I am not lying to you, best sub ever. You literally go in there and get like the club sandwich sub I will tell you, it is one of the best subs that you can get way better than Subway. I am telling you that right now. Subway is nothing compared to Jersey Mike's. Jimmy John's. I have had that once as like a little small one. Their sub is actually pretty good. I'm not going to lie. So I will give that a B tier. But it is not beating Jersey Mike's. But like, they have good subs. I'm not going to lie. But like, I don't know. It's something with the bread, something with the ingredients, something with Jersey Mike's that they do is just far better than like any of the other sub places that I've been to. Jollibee, I know that that's over like across seas. I've never had that before. KFC, I'm gonna give it like a top of C tier because like KFC has decent fries. They're like the wedges or whatever. I like a little bit of a different take on that that those have. But like the chicken overall, like isn't really, you know, I'm probably gonna put that behind like Chick fil A because. Honestly, Chick-fil-A is better than KFC, but I'm not going to lie, their stuff isn't really that good. It's not really something that I would really want to go to, but yeah, other than that, it's not really that good. Little Caesars. Now, people actually have been, like, dissing this one, but for the price that you get for, like, the pizza, it's pretty good. So, like, I'm going to give it a top of the C tier because it's not exactly, like, really good to where it's a B tier up with those other ones because I feel like those deserve to be, like, at the top of the top. But, like, Little Caesars is just good enough to where they can get at the top of the C tier just because of the price for the value and, like, the pizza. The pizza is not bad, but it is nowhere near Domino's. But, yeah, it's pretty good stuff. Long John Silver's, I know that that's seafood. I've never had that. McDonald's, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give it like a middle of C tier because like some of their stuff is like hit or miss. Their fries usually are soggy or they're really crunchy and good. Their sandwiches or their burgers are either burnt or they're really good. So like, I really don't know. But like, you're not getting the most quality stuff in McDonald's, but it's like good enough to pass you, to pass you by. I usually get it like after work, like if I have some points sometimes, but like that's McDonald's. We're getting a Taco Bell near us anyway soon, so I'm probably gonna go to there like to get some points or something like that, but like, yeah, no. Now Moe's on the other hand, Chipotle is far better, but I'm gonna put like Moe's in the back of the seat on um, B tier because Moe's does have really good burritos. I've had um, a Moe's burrito before. I didn't even finish it all because of how huge it was. It was like ridiculously good. But like at the same time, it's nowhere close to like Chipotle. Their fry, um, their, uh, let me think. Yeah, their chips are like all right. They're not like the best thing I've seen ever. But like, yeah, Moe's is Moe's, and that'll what whatever be. Noodles Company, I've never had that. Panda Express, I've never had that either. I hear it's good. Panera Bread, I'm probably gonna give a back of the S tier because like. 
I feel like that Panera does their stuff like so freshly to where it's good. Like I've had like their avocado BLT and their bread is like super banging. But like whatever they do with like their bread and their ingredients is just super good. I haven't really like put my finger on it, but like Panera is just a lot different than other other places I've seen. Papa John's, I'm probably gonna give that like a back of the B just because like Papa John's does have like what they say, better ingredients, better pizza. And I do agree that Papa John's is pretty good. Their butter garlic sauce is great with the crust of the pizza. But other than that, I really don't see that Papa John's is beating Domino's in this one. I just have a personal preference for Domino's over Papa John's. And Papa John's is good food. It's like, I don't know. It's just something about that pizza that I just don't really like about um, the food. PDQ, I have not had this one in a long time. But from what I understand, this is going straight in the S tier because PDQ is some of the best chicken that you can get. It's chicken tenders and like fries. They're super good. Like you literally get anything in there and it's like super prim quality chicken. It's way better than like Chick-fil-A or like KFC because this food is just so freaking ridiculous. The only one that I have is like 30 minutes away from me, but like, heck, I would drive over there and get me some PDQ because it's awesome. It's like, it's worth the, it's worth the drive. It's worth the wait. Like this food is like super awesome. Like why would you pass up on premium quality chicken? Penn Station never had it. Pizza Hut? Now Pizza Hut is a bit of a different story. Sometimes their thin crust pizza is good. I've never had the actual like real one because the thin crust is super, way better. But like their breadsticks are like, oh yeah, best breadsticks in the game. But like Pizza Hut, I'm probably gonna give it like a B tier right here because like I do love what they have. I love that what they do. But like sometimes their food is just all right. It's not like, oh my gosh, I need to go here again. But like Pizza Hut, whenever we have it, I'm excited because I love Pizza Hut. But like, it's not like the best of the best, if you understand what I'm saying. But like, I don't know. Sometimes like they mess up the orders, they mess up what they have, and they just overcook it for some reason. Like, I don't know, or undercooked. Popeyes, from what I do remember, I've only had this once, but I'm probably gonna put it in like the top of the B tier behind Bojangles because I do believe Bojangles and Popeyes are in the same league with Cajun food but they do take a little bit of a different approach with the foods. And I do agree that their fries are pretty good. Actually, their chicken's really good. But I do agree that Bojangles does have the better honey mustard, in my opinion. If you go to Bojangles and get honey mustard, you are going to be in heaven. Now that's the best sauce that you can possibly put your finger on. Portolitos, I've never had before. P Pot belly, I've never had before. Cadoba, it's been so long that I don't really remember how it's been. Like, it was like way back in the day. Like, I don't really remember how like Cadoba was, but I remember it being like Moe's and Chipotle. So just because I don't remember it being that, um, remember it, I'm just gonna put it in the back of the beach here because like it's one of those other places that's pretty good to stand alone, but it's just like in that area to where I don't really remember how it was. Cuisino's never had it before. Roy Rogers, I've never had that before. Sabaro, I have never had that before. Skultazi's never had that before. Shake Shack, never had that before. Sheets food, I don't know. It's just kind of like mid, but like Sheets food is decent. Like I'm not really gonna like diss it or anything, but like it's decent. But so I'm gonna put it like in the top of the D tier, like in front of Burger, no Burger King, you get in the friggin' back, your garbage. But like Sheets is just like gas station food. You're not really getting your um, top dollar for that. But like, I understand that it's all right, but like, come on. I just don't regret or really like it. Skyline Plaza, never had that. Sonic, oh, it, that's going in the F tier. Yeah, Sonic, just everything about it's just terrible. I like, you know what? Burger King deserves to be down there with Sonic. I, I do not like Sonic worth like anything. Sonic is just terrible. Their burgers are like, they mess up my order every single time. Burgers, nope. Um, I think their fries are like super soggy every single time I get them. And it's just not a good time when I go over there. It's like ridiculously bad. So I don't know what y'all are talking about if y'all like Sonic. Steak and Shake, I've never had that. 
Subway, I've had it once, but I'm probably gonna give it like a C tier because Subway is just not that great. I really don't care for it because like sometimes their bread is just not that great and it's just not adding up to how um, Jersey Mike's or Jimmy John's is. Swinton's, I've never had that before. Taco Bell, surprisingly, is pretty good. So I will give that like the back of the B tier. No, actually, I'm just gonna give it like a high C tier because Taco Bell is just the kind of quality food that you don't really like want exactly because the meat is just not like actual meat, but like it's good stuff. I'm not gonna lie, it's good stuff. Like the Dorito tacos smack. I have like five of those at the same time. You are not passing down on those tacos. But like, if you have like something else like Chipotle that you have to go to, I'd much rather go to Chipotle cause even if I'm paying a little bit more because it's like fresh ingredients and best be better food. Taco Cabana, never had it before. Torchy Tacos, never had it before. Waffle House, I'm giving that a bottom D because Every single time I've been there, it just wrecks my stomach, and it's just a really greasy food, and it's not my personal favorite, and I would not recommend it to anybody that has it, but like, I don't know, man. It's just not that great. Wawa, I have never had that. Wendy's, I'm gonna give that like a... Wendy's, I'm gonna give that like a high B tier. I really like their food, but like, where would I put this? Probably like right here, yeah. Um, Wendy's is actually pretty good. I really like their fries. They like little fat, like crinkle cut fries. No, they're not crinkle cut. They're like fat straight ones. But like they're really crispy every single time they come out. And their um, square versions of the burger is like actually pretty good. And their chicken nuggets are also pretty good too. It's like, like a Super Saiyan version of McDonald's almost. I just like it way better than McDonald's. Whatever kind of burger this place is, um, I don't know. And I've never had it. White Castle, I have never had that before either. Let me think. Winchester, never had it before. Wings Company, never had it before. Now, Wings Stop, on the other hand, that's a good place to eat. Now, they do have some good wings, but I'm giving that a B tier, like, right quick. That, like, that is some good stuff. Like, if you want to get some good wings, go to Wings Stop. That's a great place to eat. Like, I understand, like, if some of their wings are, like, all right, but, like, some of their flavors are, like, ridiculously good. It's better than Buffalo Wild Wings, in my opinion, but, like, come on now. If you don't get boneless, what's wrong with you? But, yeah, their fries are, like, pretty generic fries, but they're actually, like, pretty good fries in the same instance. But, like, fries are fries, to be honest. But, like, Wingstop does have some pretty good flavors to offer for wings, and I do agree that they are pretty good. Now, for our final one, Zaxby's. Oh, my gosh, that's going in the S tier. Um, one of the best ones ever. And I think that's going to go, like, right there behind Domino's and in between Jersey Mike's. Because Zaxby's is great chicken. I do love their Zax sauce with all my heart. And I do agree that this is one of the best chicken places that you can go to. But PDQ, nothing's beating that. Um, even if I haven't had it in that long. But, like, come on now. Zaxby's is great food. Their crinkle cut fries with seasoned are awesome. And everything they have to offer with their, like, Big Zack snack, that's usually what I get. It's great food. But, like, other than that, yeah, this is my tier list, everybody. And I hope that you would like the video, subscribe, and comment down below how you think of my tier list. And if you have any of the same opinions. So, I will see you guys later. Peace.